Good afternoon. The, uh, today we are going to focus our discussions on module 21 derivatives. First, we are going to state the characters the uh, objectives. Number 1, define derivatives and state the purpose or purposes why we have two issue derivatives. Number 2, state the characteristics of derivatives and number three define and give examples of hedging in connection with derivatives first objective we have to define derivatives they are financial contracts or other contracts with all the three of the following characteristics but before we go to the characteristics of derivatives, let's state the purpose or the purposes why derivatives are issued. Number one purpose is to speculate. In the process, you may incur risk. And number two purpose is to hedge. In other words, to avoid or manage risk. Now, these two purposes, either of this, is the objective that you want to focus with. So, after identifying the objectives and the purposes why we have to issue derivatives, we go to the characteristics of derivatives. Number one, whose value changes? in response to change in specific interest rate, security price, commodity price, foreign exchange rate, index of prices or rates, a credit rating or credit index or other variable, which variables are called underlying. So, for example, a call option that gives the holder a right to purchase a share for a fixed price increases in value when the price of that share increases. In this case, the share price is an underlying that affects the value of the option. The second characteristic is it requires no initial net investment or if ever there is an initial investment it is smaller than would be required for other types of contracts for example a call option on a share can usually be purchased for an amount much smaller than what will be required to purchase the share itself. Number three characteristic of a derivative is it is settled at a future date. For instance, a call option and a share is settled on the future date on which the holder may exercise that call option to purchase the share for a fixed price. Now, these are the characteristics of derivatives. And of course, we have to give common examples of derivatives. Uh, one is a forward contract, swaps and options. In the statement of financial position, derivatives are measured, normally measured, at fair values. As general rule, changes in the fair value of derivatives are recognized in profit or loss. However, when the derivative is used to offset risk and special hedge accounting conditions are met, some of all changes, some or all changes in fair values are recognized 
at a separate component of equity. Okay? So, these are the uh, very important characteristics that we have to uh, consider in connection with the study of derivatives.